Welcome to Five Star Violets and the Detailing Boy today. I'm working on this brand new Mercedes EQS 53, which is in for our maintenance clean. And as you can see, it's got these lovely wheels, multi spokes, and tiny gaps in that I've got to clean. But I'm going to show you how I effectively clean these wheels, the matte finish on these wheels, and how I make them nice and clean and fresh. Using the I go through all the processes that I do, the equipment, the tools, the products, etc. So if you ever come stuck with wheels like this, you can see exactly how we get them clean. So first of all, what I'll do is I have a pump sprayer. This one it contains a non-acidic wheel-based cleaner. It's safe to use on matte finishes, etc. What we'll do with this, we'll spray this under the arches first. Yes, it's a wheel cleaner, but it's great. You don't have to use an all-purpose cleaner. Spray it under the arch like that, then straight onto the tires. Then onto the wheels, and I'll leave that for a few seconds to dwell. Now, whilst that's dwelling, it'll be safely breaking down the dirt. I'll rinse that away before obviously applying some lubricant to further clean the wheels. So, I'll leave that for around 10 more seconds, get the jet wash, rinse that off, rinse under the arches, then continue the wheel cleaning process. So I've got my jet wash, you can see I've got a short trigger handle. The jet wash I'm using today is an Ava P70. Great little jet wash on a steel reinforced hose, doesn't kink, etc. And the short trigger. Put our quick release attachment in. Yeah, the arch, Next up, what I do is then use a lubricant, usually a snow foam as soft like this. We've got our green snow foam here. Apply this underneath the arch and to the wheel. Now that's on, the first process I like to start off, I'll do underneath the arches. This I'm using an EZ detail brush, like a barrel brush, nice and thick, get underneath those arches. Start from the top, find a gap in. Gently get rid of any dirt from under there. Simple as that. Now, as these have got really tight gaps, Brush choice today for all these wheels is going to be, I can find it, the EZ Detail. Small brush, just see, I'm perfectly get in between those folks. Now, Mercedes on the new electric cars, obviously, being a detailer, I've noticed that they are selling these cars now with some really funky, intricate wheels this but like I say this is a process it can be quite tedious so if you want a perfectly clean wheel these are the steps that you have to go through for yourself if you're washing your own car or obviously if you're detail like myself doing a customer's car. You might think well that wheel's gonna get dirty as soon as it's driven fair enough it will do but the more deeper cleaned it is the more easier it is in future maintain. So what is the worst wheels that you've come across today? Ones of mine have to be, I think the BMW competition wheels, they're very, the diamond spokes, they can take a lot of work, sometimes 20 minutes per wheel. Uh, the Mercedes EQC as well, they have the square ones, they're a bit awkward to do. But again, just having the patience to go through the intricate processes of cleaning the wheels. Now this snow foam that I'm using, 
this seats for all paint work, wraps cars, this one PPF wraps on its satin finish, safe on that, safe on matte finishes like these wheels, very safe to use, the colour of the seats to affect, doesn't cause no damage whatsoever, safe on soft top roofs, white cars etc, you name it, snow foam safe on it. Got a few more more spoke to do, and that's that process, getting in between those spokes. Next up, have a nice and nice soft hog hair brush like that. Cause any scratches then work every single spoke as soft. to dip and rinse as you get round half a wheel I'd say that's what I like to do start from top to bottom like gravity do its business again like I said earlier this process can seem quite long maybe you're just happy with them just being rinsed and sprayed off that'll do but for myself I like to make sure all the wheels nice and clean Every area, work on that lug knot, on the emblem, then around the outside as well, on the diamond cut finish. Again, the wheel cleaner that I've been using is safe on diamond cut finishes too. An acid waste wheel cleaner, fallout remover will eventually, over time, perish this finish, and that's where you'll see flaking or it'll look a bit discoloured, usually due to the one wheel cleaners and products being used. Now, from the brush part, next, get a wheel meter so usually I get behind the spokes but obviously I'm not going to be able to on these ones I'll give the paces a final rinse wipe down clean dip in all the time this wheel mitt as well is from the rag company they do some great products to repair all the cloths etc towels check them out and if you use code 5 star you get 15% off all their products too that's that part done Finally, we want our tyre dressings to set and stick correctly, so I'll give this wheel a scrub the tyre using our tyre scrubber. It's a nice, firm, bristle brush. Leave the tyre off soft. The wheel done. Next part, rinse away. Top tip as well if you've got a short connection trigger like this. So when you put the end in, like so, you might think it's locked in, but to be double short, don't point it at a customer's car, don't point it at a car, don't put a wheel. Point it into the sky, far away from yourself to make sure that the trigger's locked in. We'll give this a rinse down, get this wheel. Finally, I'd use to do this at the end, but because I'm doing a video showing the wheel cleaning, what I've done is apply some sealant to this. This product that I'm using for this particular wheel is Pop Chemi Protector Wax. So we'll get it as so, like that again. Make sure it's locked in place. Turn some of that off. Leave that. What this product will be doing is requiring some more repellent so next time we come to clean this in around a week's time it'll be much easier to clean it's got a protective barrier on as you'll see here rinse it down the water just repelling off those wheels now 
that is nice, clean, protected and shiny reel, all done to five star way. Thank you for watching. If you're not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave any comments, if you've got any questions, etc. Leave them in the comment section. Make sure you give it a like and a share. And thank you again for your time and I hope you all have a great weekend.